How to change your manufacturer settings on the Oki Data printer. You may have already printed out your manufacturer settings from watching the previous video called Setting Up the Oki Data and Printing the Manufacturer Settings. But I will quickly review how to print out your manufacturer settings. If you need more help, you can go back and watch the video named Setting Up the Oki Data and Printing Out the Manufacturer Settings. First, let's make sure the power is on. Now that the power is on and paper is in the printer, we need to get into menu mode. We accomplish this by holding down the shift button and pressing the menu button. The menu light should come on. If it doesn't, you may need to power off for a few moments and try it again. Now that the menu light is on, you are ready to print out the manufacturer settings. To print out the manufacturer settings, find and press the park button on front of the printer. The manufacturer settings should now be printing out. Now that the manufacturer settings are printed out, you'll notice they look similar to the one on the screen, except for the coloring. I have added the coloring to help explain this printout to you. If you notice up top there's three categories. Group, item, and settings. Group is yellow, item in the middle is blue, and to the far right is settings which is in green. These three categories correspond to buttons on the front of the printer. Here is a diagram to help explain it. You'll notice number one is the group button, number two is the item button, and number three is the set button on the front of the printer. When you press the group button, number one, it'll print the next group in the menu. When you press the item button, it'll print the next item in the group that you're currently in. And when you press number three, the set button, it'll change the setting to the item that you're currently on. Now let's load a blank piece of paper in the printer. If you're still in menu mode, you'll need to get out of menu mode. To do this, it's the same way as getting into menu mode. You hold the shift key down and press the menu button. The menu light should go out. Go ahead and load a piece of paper now. Once the paper is loaded, we'll have to get back into menu mode. To get into menu mode, you hold the shift button down and press the menu button and the menu light should come on. Now that you're in menu mode, you'll notice on the front of the printer you'll see the group, item, and set button. Let's go ahead and press the group button one time. You'll notice the printer prints out one line. It's the printer control group. The item in the middle is the emulation mode and it is set to Epson. We need to change a setting to IBM PPR. Press the set key and the printer will print the same line out with a different setting. Keep pressing set one at a time until the setting is changed to IBM PPR. There are three other settings that we want to check out on this printout. One of the settings is in the top feed group and it is the second item, bottom margin. This must be set to invalid. The other two settings are in the setup group. The items are the paper out override item, which should be set to yes, and the auto select item, which is an optional setting. Meaning, if you want the SEL light on the printer to automatically turn on when you load paper, then you set it to yes. If you want to manually press the SEL button on the front of the printer after loading a piece of paper and before printing, then you will set it to no. We left off at the printer control group, which means we need to go down to the top feed group to check the next setting. Go ahead and press the group button on the front of the printer, and you'll notice it prints out the first item in the font group. Press the group button again, and it moves down to the symbol set group. Press the group button again, and it moves down to the reared feed group. Press it again, and we move to the bottom feed group. Press the group button one more time, and we are now in the top feed group. Now that we're in the top feed group, we need to go to the second item. We are already on the first item. 
So press the item button once, and this should take us to the second item, bottom margin. This needs to be set to invalid. Press the set button on the front of the printer, and you'll notice it prints the same line, but changes the setting from valid to invalid. Now that this item is set properly to work with Lot Wizard, let's move down to the setup group. The setup group is only one group below this group, so press the group button one time. And we are now in the setup group. We need to go to the second item, Paper Out Override. So you'll need to press the item button one time. And we are now at the Paper Out Override item in the setup group. You'll notice it is set to No. We need to set it to Yes. So press the Set button one time. And this will change the setting to Yes for the Paper Out Override item. Now we have one more item to check in the setup group. The Auto Select item. On my printout, it's about eight more items down in the setup group. So I'm going to press the item button eight more times and stop once it reaches the auto select item in the setup group. So go ahead and continue to press the item button until you reach the auto select item in the setup group. The setting for the auto select item is an optional setting. If you want the SEL button on the front of the printer to automatically turn on when you load paper, set it to yes. If you want to manually press the SEL button on the front of the printer after you load paper and before printing, set it to no. You can go ahead and change the setting to your preference by pressing the set button. So this completes the video on how to change your manufacturer settings on the Oki Data printer to work with Lot Wizard when printing out forms. Just remember, the key to changing your manufacturer settings are the group, item, and set buttons on the front of your printer. If you are running Vista or Windows 7 on your computer, there is a chance when you start printing forms, it may print unreadable characters. If this happens, you will need to change the driver for your printer to an Epson version, and also change the setting to Epson for the emulation mode item in the printer control group of the manufacturer settings. If you need help with which Epson driver to use, you may contact us at 1-800-677-7160.